Hilltopper forward Justin Johnson has been a fan favorite for three seasons, but this year you might see him make noise somewhere other than Diddle Arena. Coach Kyle Perry plans to do just that once again this season in Lexington, Kentucky. It was a very emotional day today for head coach Michelle Clark Hurd and Lady Tops as they faced off against the Buckeyes of Ohio State University. Germany's own Michael Jung put on one heck of a performance in the stadium behind me. So the cookie crumbled exactly how everyone thought it was going to as the top seeded Lady Toppers took down the Golden Eagles of Southern Mississippi. You know, the only player that really showed up today for the tops was junior forward Justin Johnson. He finished with 15 points, 16 boards, so he got another double-double for himself. Things started off smoothly for the tops in the first half. Kevin Gooden Rogers, actually a former Wildcat that played here in this building, she hit two back-to-back -back threes, got the tops on a roll. Hey guys, I'm Matthew Stewart, joined here with Marcus Browning. We're here in Legacy Arena. We just finished up watching a little bit of Lady Topper basketball as they faced off against Louisiana Tech. The Conference USA Basketball Tournament here in Birmingham, Alabama, came and went just as quickly for the WKU men's Hilltopper basketball team this season. This guy was getting ready to go to NAIA level. You know, Rick Stansberry came in, changed his life, and gave him a Division I scholarship. I don't know if he'll change Rick Stansberry's life, but I'll tell you who will. That's Lamonte Bearden. DeAndre Furby, after injuring that shoulder, he's back. He's dropped about 20 pounds. Look for him to be a weapon that Mike White can utilize in that backfield. He's a good guy. He can catch the ball. He's got some speed to get to that second level. Hilltopper forward Justin Johnson has been a fan favorite for three seasons, but this year you might see him make noise somewhere other than Diddle Arena. That's right. This season he'll be catching passes right here in LT Smith Stadium. This may come as a surprise move to some, but to others it makes perfect sense. Johnson has been the face of WKU basketball for the past two seasons, grabbing awards and putting up impressive numbers. The 6'7", 240-pound forward is a force inside. His size and intangibles are suited for a college tight end. Comparisons are being made to Jimmy Graham and George Fant. Justin, along with former Hilltopper great George Fant, earned all-conference recognition in his time. Fant finished his career at WKE ranking 13th in scoring. He didn't see much of the football field as a topper, but was picked up by the Seahawks as an offensive lineman and signed as a free agent. Fant made his first career start in Week 8 this past season. Graham, on the other hand, is a top-tier NFL tight end, also playing with the Seahawks. After his basketball career at Miami, where he is eighth in career blocks, he joined the football team as a tight end. In 2010, he was drafted in the third round and now has 59 career touchdowns to his name and is a four-time Pro Bowler. Johnson has the potential to be successful in the game of football. If he can catch on to the game that he hasn't played since high school and stay away from injury, who knows what can happen. Whether Justin Johnson decides to play basketball, football, or both is still to be determined. Either way, he'll still be a fan favorite here on the Hill. Reporting for The Extra Point, I'm Matthew Stewart. I see that pump. <laughs> oh, he's like the one we make, man. You came all the way from Pac-12, Washington State. What brought you halfway across the country to play for Western? Um, what brought me halfway is uh, Coach Stansberry and the history of winning here. Uh, I like the history, so that's what, what brought me here. Junior Providence. What brought you to Western Kentucky University to play basketball? Uh, same thing as Q, you know, uh, Coach Stansberry being a great guy and, uh, you know, coming in here, being able to play for my uh, fifth year college basketball and just the culture as a whole. Talk about Stansberry. What made you want to play for Coach Stansberry here? Uh, Coach Stansberry, he's he a good coach. Um, he's a great person, too. Um, that was, that's what brought me, brought me here to uh, play, play for him. Coming from Washington State, do you have any personal goals or expectations for this team this year? Uh, well, as a team, we talk about getting to the tournament. Um, so that's my that's my main goal and my and a personal goal for me trying to get to the tournament. So you're a sharp shooter from the outside, something like that. Breaking your records this season? Uh, it's a few records I'm trying to break. Um, hopefully, if I don't, I don't. As long as we win, uh, that's that's the main thing for me. What about you? You're playing point guard this year. Yes, sir. What's the plan running the offense for Western? Um, making sure everybody's to the right spots um, and really just winning. Um, you know, try, trying to bring that, that, that winning culture, culture back to Bowling Green and uh, yeah, making it to the tournament. Has there been much of a change? What have you guys noticed under Coach Stansbury in the short time that he's been here? Uh, the hard work. Like for him? <laughs> the hard work. Discipline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, discipline. <laughs> Definitely, discipline. Practice is pretty tough. Pretty tough, yeah. Way harder than the games. I mean, that's what, that's what he preached all the time. So. Yeah, we've been working. How did the practices compare to Washington State and Providence? Um, I mean, it's pretty the same. Uh, you know, coming from Providence, they had a good, uh, good culture over there too, a uh, winning culture. And, uh, you know, same thing, Coach Cooley over there, you know, he, he, he made us work. So 
Same thing over here. You guys excited for the season? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We dunked the ball.